Welcome, students. Let's talk about local government and how it works in Virginia. So local government, every state in the United States handles this slightly differently, but in Virginia, we have three types of local government. There's counties and cities and towns. We're going to talk about each one of them, what it means to be a county, a city, or a town, how counties, cities, and towns are governed, and how it all works together. So think first about what local government does in general. Local government is the government that's closest to you. It's the government that, that manages your community and uh, the things that you do. In Virginia, local government creates local laws, creates rules that are enforced really only in that place. And it also has a role of helping the state enforce uh, state laws and state policies. So let's look at um, how that relationship works. It's shaped by, the relationship between state and local government is shaped by a ruling called Dillon's Rule. This was created by a judge many, many years ago, and it basically sets up how local government and state government is supposed to work together. Local government is supposed to be kind of subservient to state government. Dillon's Rule states that all power of the local government is derived from the state. This means that the states uh, create local governments and that local governments are kind of beholden to the state government and, and therefore have to work in within the realm, within the restriction uh, that uh, states and the state law creates. So keep that in mind. Local government is kind of on the bottom uh, of the hierarchy, so to speak, and this is because of how we conceptualize this relationship through Dillon's rule. Let's look at some examples of local government in Virginia. We'll talk first about counties. So a county is just a, uh, an area, a, a regional government within a state. The map that you're looking at on the screen is a, is a county map of Virginia. Virginia has 95 counties. You can see just how uh, the state of Virginia uh, is divided down into smaller parts. Counties um, are run by a group of elected officials called the Board of Supervisors. Uh, they are typically a small group of people. They are elected, of course, by the people in that county, and they serve as both the legislature and the executive for uh, a county. And they're doing things like levying local taxes, setting budgets for different localities, providing services like schools. So when you think about counties in Virginia, I think about places like Albemarle County, or Orange, or Buckingham County. These are all places that are being run by the uh, boards of supervisors. A city in Virginia is independent from the uh, county that they lie in. So a great example of this is how Charlottesville works. It sits kind of smack dab in the middle of Albemarle County but it is independent from Albemarle County. In other words, the Albemarle County government that we just discussed has nothing to do or very little to do with how Charlottesville is run. Charlottesville and other independent cities in uh, the state of Virginia govern themselves. This is why they're called independent. So Virginia has 38 independent cities. These are most often urban areas, but they don't always have to be uh, there's some places down in the southeast corner of the Virginia that are governed by cities but are not what we would consider to be urban. Um, however, those are kind of exceptional. Typically, a city is a place like Charlottesville or Richmond uh, or, or uh, cities up in northern Virginia, which are very urban uh, with a dense population, lots of people, um, and they are always, always, always going to be independent from any county that they might happen to sit in. City government is uh, typically managed by city councils. Sometimes these city councils will have a manager or a mayor that's um, selected or elected to lead uh, maybe the entire government or certain aspects of it. So the city uh, councils and managers are doing essentially the same job that the Board of Supervisors does for a county. They're uh, managing day-to-day -day stuff, 
setting up local ordinances, setting up tax rates, budgeting, uh, providing services, um, except in this case they're doing it just for the city. And then you have another entity in Virginia that's known as a town or an incorporated town. And don't, don't get towns and cities confused. A uh, town is different from a city because it is not independent from the county that it resides in. And these little towns spread out around the country, uh, sorry, spread out around the state, um, will uh, elect uh, town councils or town managers, and they will take care of things sort of within the town limits. Uh, they might, you know, set up uh, ordinances or street lights or manage some kind of uh, communal property, parks, things like that, uh, but they're still very dependent upon the county that they reside in. Uh, we don't have too many uh, technical incorporated towns uh, close by in the Charlottesville, Albemarle area, but if you think about Scottsville, as an example in southern Albemarle County, uh, Rutgersville is another example fairly close by in Greene County. These towns uh, um, can be fairly involved, lots of people living in them. They're not quite a city because they don't have that independent status. They still rely on the county for funding and regulation uh, and things like that. So I also want to mention before we part ways a uh, special situation in Virginia where um, a service or uh, rules or regulations might have to cross these local government boundaries. Let's say you have some kind of service that needs to exist in both the city and the county, or maybe several counties, or several counties in the city. Uh, what Virginia typically does to this, is, uh, for this rather, is to set up what's referred to as a regional authority. A regional authority is a way that uh, we can bridge uh, boundary lines in the state and offer um, services or regulation in some way um, Across local government lines, so perhaps a water or or uh, sewage um, providing entity, or um, something like a regional library or a regional jail. These are all examples of these regional authorities that serve more than one local government. All right, bring your notes and questions to class, and we'll discuss this when we get a chance. Thank you.